Hey, we're Shafe and Lee from Afternoons with Shafe and Lee on the new Air One. If you've listened to our show uh, over the past couple of years, we have a feature called The Best News Ever. Where we celebrate your most exciting news. Maybe it doesn't seem like that big a deal, but then you share the story about why it is a big deal, no matter how big or small, we really do celebrate it all. Yeah, and you know, one thing, if I've learned anything from The Best News Ever is, you know, sometimes best news can come from challenging, the most challenging situations that we're faced with in life. In fact, some of our very favorite best news ever have come out of those times that felt like they were the worst news ever in the moment, but they turned into something really good. So that leads me to my best news ever, um, which is also a bit of a bittersweet best news ever. Totally. Don't start, because you're going to make me cry. OK, <clears throat> so my best news ever, I know this sounds, I'm cra who does this? Who cries and then says it's the best <laughs> news? I do this. Uh, I, you know, I, I have been so blessed to be a part of Air One for the past couple of years. Uh, when I found out about the new Air One and what that would be, to be able to be at a place that would be nonstop worship all the time, I was so excited at the opportunity. And I knew, I knew that I knew that I knew God had called me to be here, to be a part of that. Um, but earlier this year, it also became clear that God was calling me to, to go home, to be with my family. Um, because, you know, in life there are seasons. And uh, for me, I, I've, I've really come to realize that this was a season in my life that I, I have no doubt that God wanted me to be a part of, um, but that there's something else on the horizon that I know that he's, he's gonna work it out to become the best news ever. Yeah. Um, but it is bittersweet if we're being completely honest, and that's where we've learned from you that even when things are uncertain, God always works it out to where it becomes the best news. And I believe it's gonna be the best news for you too. You're sweet, longer well. term. Longer term, I think, and I mean, it's it's hard to say goodbye though. So I don't feel like this is the best news ever right now because whenever you do what we do every day, you're on air married to the person. And in a non-weird way, it's like really this has become my brother. And so it's, it's gonna be a hard transition in a lot of ways, but um, I am trusting that God is gonna do something good out of this. Yeah, and I, I love, I love this lady. She is the kindest, most sweetest person you could ever know. Um, truly, been blessed to be able to work with her. Um, from day one, it was an instant kind of like a natural relationship and just what you hear is who, who she is off the air as well. And so I just wanna say thank you for, for welcoming me to Air One and to be able to open up your heart to spend the past couple of years with me. Uh, and really to all the Air One DJs, like everybody here, I'm telling you, it's like, it's a family here. Um, so to Dana Michelle, to Ashton, Gareth, uh, to of course the wonderful Lauren Lee, <laughs> Mandy. I just wanna say thank you to everybody here for allowing me to be family, but also allow me to go home to be with my family and to be so gracious about it process. And ultimately thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your lives uh, for the past couple of years uh, with the Shafe and Lee show, because truly it's all about you. And uh, I'm just looking forward to being on the other side of the radio. I'm still gonna listen to Air One. I'm still gonna support Air One. I'm just gonna be worshiping on the other side with you. So in a way, we'll continue to worship through it together. And I'm grateful for that. We are grateful for you. And I think I can say on behalf of people too, thank you because you've brought so much laughter. You've brought wisdom. You are my brother. You poke at me. I'm not gonna know what to do without that for a while. And um, just thinking about that, actually, you know what I would love to do because you can't be here to hug him. I mean, even if you were, you'd have to be masked up. Let's treat this online like a, a guest book, a virtual guest book of sorts. So even though this guy does not care much for Facebook this week, mm, yeah. this next few days, he is promising he's gonna get on Facebook and read comments. So if you wanna share, uh, you have a favorite memory with him. Maybe we've met you, you've had interactions with Shafe and you wanna share one of those. Whatever it is, if you wanna leave a comment below, I just think it'd be really cool to celebrate what God has done through Shafe well, during his time here. So if you would, just comment below. I will be sure to, I will look and comment to all three people who will be commenting. My mom. Um, yes, and my mom. mom, and then you. And then me. <laughs> uh, I, I promise to do that, but uh, again, thank you so much for letting us be a part of your lives here at Air One. Leah is going to continue to tell her terrible jokes on Air One. Him. Yes. Well, you, you don't laugh at them anyway. <laughs> Not much is going to change. Peace out. We love you. We love you. Love you too.